Yo, what's happening, YouTube? Jug it here. Welcome back to another Tiny Tina Wonderlands video. I have something very special and super awesome to show you guys in this video. First and foremost, in the third person point of view, when you guys are looking at this footage, you guys will actually see some of it be choppy. But in the first person point of view, you guys are looking at everything will be naturally moving and flowing like how it should be again third person point of view things are a little bit choppy just for the simple fact that i'm recording double 4k at the same time and my pc actually almost rocketed into outer space yes. because i have both capture cards going at the same time but nevertheless you guys will actually see and get the gist of what this video is about so let's have some fun together and continue watching <laughs> i'm actually moving super duper fast as you guys can see that i'm moving at over 600 100 miles per hour at over 800 percent my character speed is so crazy now my feet is tired from running around like hussein bolt aka the flash now i'm going to actually fly actually like superman and i'm actually gonna go super saiyan like goku now you guys can see right here i'm gonna show you guys from third person point of view that i'm actually gonna take off and i'm gonna shoot my gun how insane is this how awesome is this to actually play like this this is what happens when tiny tina meets jetpacks or maybe you can fly how cool would it be we have never experienced a game until now where you can actually fly around Kame -ha -me. Kame -ha -me. <laughs> anyways how how cool is that and i can actually go super saiyan i'm gonna show you guys what that looks like right here from first person point of view and third person point of view at the same time this is a really fun way to actually play borderlands because you can actually go towards outside of the map and towards the bosses and actually experience what the creativity of the developers actually look like by getting up and close and personal with the environment and the characters so cool look at that super saiyan lightning bolts all around me just going go cool like that oh my god it's so fun just super amazing now what happens if you actually was able to play like this you know we would never had a tiny tina wonderlands game like this or a borderlands light game where you can actually fly and it's just so much fun look at me taking up <laughs> i can't i can't i mean just look at my feet look how i just you know just come off the ground you just like ah you know like i'm about to get it you know what i mean it's just so much fun moving around floating around just flying it's just super just incredible i mean just shooting beams down from the sky you know i think the closest we ever got to this was probably the pre-sequel but nevertheless to be airborne you know what i mean and just fly around exploring the map games are all about exploration and going to the top of the castle here you know it's just freedom and creativity no restrictions just having fun now, i'm gonna take it up a level right here you guys can see this wyvern is actually after me this beautiful majestic beast <laughs> i want to go airborne and i'm gonna hand-to-hand -hand combat with it because i just want oh destroy my objective oh come on man this beautiful elite wyvern just destroyed my objective nevertheless i'm actually just want to get up and close and personal like i was saying earlier just so i can see how beautiful these graphics are because the development team did an incredible job on the graphics the colors the beauty of this game and it's a beautiful wonderland game to play I'm striking the eagle here. <laughs> Look at that. Just beautiful. Just beauty in its essence right there. And I'm actually face to face with this creature. And how awesome is this to be able to do something like this? It's just incredible. I, oh, swipe. Swipe or no swipe. <laughs> come here, you beautiful beast. Come here. Come here. Swipe. <laughs> oh, my God. Just incredible. Just super fun. I mean, look at it. You guys are just having a good time watching this video. So just drop a like on it because, I mean, it's just, oh, my God. How much more can I explain to you guys? Look at this guy right here. D-R-Y-L. Do you guys call him Daryl or do you guys call him Drill? I'm not, you know, so sure what his name is. I think his name is Drill. Sometimes I call him Daryl. Who knows? We just like to have fun in these Borderlands like this. Especially Tiny Tina. Going Super Saiyan right here again. You guys can see how up and close person I can get to the boss outside of the normal map area. And it's just super fun. I don't know. Would you guys like to play a game like this? I mean, you guys can see what it's actually all about. Third person point of view, you guys just see me flying around like a little ant in the sky going from back to back, messing around with the enemy right there, taking him out and just destroying him in just a fun new epic way to explore and experience this game at the same time. It's just control 
and flying around and super speed and you know it just feels just right it just feels right maybe we will get a borderlands light game in the future where we can actually do something like this because i think jetpacks are having powers being able to fly especially with a siren ah! oh my god imagine imagine it would just be totally incredible and more airborne enemies oh my god it, the creativity is endless well until next video the shop is still open this weekend so make sure you guys put in your orders until next time love you guys to the fullest treat yourself don't cheat yourself i'm jug and i'll see you here for another one peace